what's going on back for another video here we have a radical equation that we need to solve all right so i got square root of 2x plus 3 minus square root of x plus 2 equals 2. all right so to solve this the first thing we want to do is i mean normally when you solve a equation with a radical in it you want to isolate the radical but here we've got two of them so what we want to do is we want to isolate one of them so i'm going to add square root of x plus two to both sides so that's going to give me let me change colors back so that's going to give me square root 2x plus 3 is equal to square root x plus 2 plus 2. now if you wanted to, you could have subtracted square root of 2x plus 3 to both sides. It doesn't matter. It's just, this one just, I think, might be a little easier. I don't know. may not be, but this is what I decided to do. But it doesn't matter which radical you isolate. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to square both sides. So I'm going to square both sides. So remember, whenever you square a square root, the square root symbol just disappears. So that's going to be 2x plus 3 over here. Now this one, we're going to write this one out a little more, show a little more work, more steps. Remember, square root of x plus 2 plus 2, all of that squared is the same thing as square root of x plus 2 plus 2 times square root x plus 2 plus 2 okay so now we got to fold that out so we're going to get 2x plus 3 equals now we're going to multiply the first so square root of x plus 2 times square root of x plus 2 is just x plus 2 and then we're going to multiply the outside so that's going to be plus 2 square root x plus 2 square root of x plus 2 times 2 and then the inside 2 times square root of x plus 2 so that's just going to give us 2 square root of x plus 2. And then the 2 times 2 is 4. And so I, now I've got 2x plus 3 is equal to, so I'm going to combine like terms. So that's going to give me x plus 4 square root of x plus 2. That's combining this one and this one. Okay, It's kind of like adding 2x plus 2x is 4x same thing 2 square root of x plus 2 plus 2 square root of x plus 2 is 4 square root of x plus 2 and then the 2 plus 4 is 6. all right so we've got another radical so we want to isolate that radical so i'm going to subtract x to both sides and i'm going to subtract 6 to both sides and that is going to leave me with, let's see, x minus 3 equals 4 square root of x plus 2. All right, so now let's, let's talk about this for just a second. And there's a couple of things you can do here. Now, let's, just, let, let's come over here to the side and let's rewrite this. x minus 3 equals 4 square root of x plus 2. All right, so if we wanted to, we could divide each term by 4. Or if you wanted to, this over here, you could actually write it as all of it divided by 4. Doesn't matter. Okay, and that would give us x minus 3 over 4 is equal to square root of x plus 2. And then I'm going to need to square both sides. Let me just show you this. That's going to give us x minus 3 squared over 4 squared equals x plus 2. Now look what this is doing. It's giving us a fraction over here. And if you do this, perfectly fine. But we know we don't like working with fractions, right? We don't like working with fractions. So, I mean, if we can avoid them, let's avoid them. Okay, so what I'm going to do, instead of dividing both sides by 4, I'm just going to keep it like this. And I'm going to go ahead and square both sides. 
All right. So this is going to give me x minus 3 squared is equal to. Now, remember this. You have a property that says a times b raised to the n is equal to a to the n times b to the n. You raise, you raise each term in the parentheses to this exponent outside. So that gives me 4 squared times square root of x plus 2 squared. you got to square each one. And so this is going to be x minus 3 times x minus 3. We're going to remember x minus 3 squared is x minus 3 times x minus 3 is equal to 16 times x plus 2. You square the 4, square the square root, you get what's underneath the square root. So this is going to be x squared minus, full it, x times x is x squared, and then I've got negative 3x plus negative 3x is minus 6x, and negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. And that's equal to 16x plus 32. All right. Now you can see we just have, we have a quadratic equation. So let's subtract 16x and 32 to both sides. So subtract 16x and subtract 32. And that's going to leave us with x squared minus, uh, what is that? Minus 22x minus 23 equals 0. So now let's factor. That's x minus 23, x plus 1 equals 0. And so x minus 23 equals 0, or x plus 1 equals 0. So x equals 23, or x equals negative 1. All right. Now, let's come back up here. Well, let's come here, and let's just over here, let's just write 2x plus 3 minus square root of x plus 2 equals 2. I think I wrote that down right. Square root of 2x plus 3 minus square root of x plus 2 equals 2. Yes, we did. All right. So, since we squared both sides, we have to actually check our solution. You have to actually take each x value, plug it back into the original equation, and make sure it works. So, let's check. All right. So, we're going to check x equal 23. So I get the square root of 2 times 23 plus 3 minus square root of 23 plus 2 equals 2. We want to know if that's a true statement. So this is going to be 2 times 23 is 46 plus 3 is 49. So that's going to be square root of 49. That's going to be square root of 49 minus square root of 25, does that equal 2? And so that's 7 minus 5, does that equal 2? We get 2 equals 2, that checks, so x equal 23 is a solution. Now, let's check x equal negative 1. So I've got square root of 2 times negative 1 plus 3, minus square root of negative 1 plus 2, and we want to know does that equal 2. So this is going to be negative 2 plus 3 is 1, so that's square root of 1 minus, what is that square root of 1? Does that equal 2? So that's going to be 1 minus 1. Does that equal 2? So we get 0 equals 2, and that is false. So x equal negative 1 is not a solution. And there you have it. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see y'all in the next one. Later.